and welcome back to another session of Monster Prom with Chaos Counseling. Woo! Let's okay. Get to Let's get the mask. Oh. The fuck was that? I think that was all my money disappearing. No, it was all your smarts. All <laughs> you became super stupid. <laughs> but super charming. You're oh super my. stupid. Now. Holy, wait, is that a negative seven? That's a negative! That's a negative seven in smarts. That's hilarious. Holy crap. Have a good one! Oh, I will. <laughs> Valerie, choose an occupation. Uh, <coughs> a dean. Um, a nanny. Uh, librarian. Mario and Luigi were plumbers. Player art is based on how funny an off-brand version of these two heroes called Hans and Rudolph would be. Asi who, aside from saving the kingdom, are also selected occupation. So, <laughs> yeah, I'd have to go with nannies. <laughs> nannies, yeah. So, and dean and dean librarian. And librarian. I think librarian. Kind of think librarian. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Nothing changes. Nothing changes. <laughs> Nothing ever changes. All right. Oh gosh. Oh, uh, what do you need, lastly, uh, Flays? Uh, well, I wasn't gonna try to get my charm up, but, uh, that's a- Cause yeah, your charm's 19 now. I, like, literally, I can go for any- I just, Okay, then I'm like, gonna steal the charm just to get that option ready to go. Yeah, sounds good. Cause, like, my last thing is in between money <coughs> and charm, and I clearly have that damn pat. <laughs> I think I'm good. <laughs> I think I'm good. <laughs> I'm Wait. glad that the uh, item got you, like, all that stat shit. Like, that's ridiculously yeah. awesome. Sorry, I'm just trying to pull it back up. Here. No, that's okay. I'm... You yeah. can get negative. I didn't know you could get negative. I didn't know either, but you can. To, to the jam, being cute. Oh, your best friend. Yes. I'm gonna do it! Scott and Polly come running up to you. Eldritch book in hand. Yes! It is your... It is just your- is it just your imagination, or they always seem to be followed by a swarm of locusts these days? Senpai! Hey! We got to the end of your prank book, and we found instructions for the ultimate prank! Bro, this is like the double time in climb, bench press of pranks. Energy exciting and great for your packs. Okay, so check it out. This whole book is dedicated to something called Zagor? Zoe! Uh, yay, more Zoe stuff! Right? And at the very end, there's instructions on it for how to summon it. <gasps> summon Zoe? And we figured if Zagor is the one who came up with all these great pranks, how cool it'd be to meet it! You point out in a voice that doesn't quite sound like your own that summoning a dread celestial being doesn't technically sound like a prank. <laughs> uh, duh! It's better than a prank! It's a master prank! With a Z! <laughs> With a Z! With a Z! Zagor is, is clearly a dedicated prank master. Just like us! We can ask it to teach us all its coolest, newest pranks! And we get these with some cool new pranks too, like wedgies. Can you believe this book doesn't have wedgies in it? Only one problem, though. I think the gourd apparently requires some kind of totem, and who even knows where that is? It could be anywhere. Oh, wait, it says we can also summon the gourd through an interdimensional rift. And it says never to do that because it will destroy reality. Warning labels are for sober people. Let's get riffy! You follow the book's directions for opening up a rift in time and space. It seems to be going pretty. Well, until... Oh no, the rift is closing itself! Step on, fix this before I end up with a case of interdimensional prank blue balls! I'm right here! <laughs> See, I got to survive my goal. Oh crap, my phone died. Oh, oh uh, shoot, let me uh, pull it up real quick. I got this, I'm I got this. Sure. Da, 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 da. I need to do, you're not an expert da, 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 at interdimensional da, 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 antics. Sometimes it's better to stay frick? humble. And convince a certain interdimensional freak you know to open the rift for you. I found it. Boop! You're smart. More than you're trying to upgrade stuff. Okay, then yep. So instead of seems like it's a connectivity problem, we need to upgrade to a top-notch dimensional network with a way stronger arcade signal. And this one. Did somebody say <laughs> the interdimensional friends? Save me. Get my girl. <laughs> no, Senpai was just vaguely alluding to you. Are you just, like, always listening to our conversations? My lawyer advises me not to answer that question. Anyway, I hear you need a portal open. Is that correct? I love how he's probably connected to his lawyer on his headset at all times. And the lawyer's like, you shouldn't say anything. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, we want to summon an ancient evil called Sigour so we can ask it what cool pranks it knows. 
Ah, to be young again. Well, I'm happy to help, of course, but I'll want something in exchange. I want you to. If you say marry me, dude, I swear to God. Compliment me! Okay, I'm good at compliments. In Dimensional Supremes, you smell like a sage and mackerel. Very cool and trustworthy smell. And you're, uh, I don't know, sparkly? Good enough! Yeah, I enjoy your irreversible mistake, my little dumplings. The prince opens up a wound in space. A malevolent wind pours out of it, clawing at your skin. It doesn't exactly scream hilarious pranks ahoy. It does literally scream, though. Good! See the incantation! The Lord of Arbiter of Pain comes drive us and our friends <laughs> insane. I think it's working! I can feel reality melting into a fluid! Uh, all our friends can feel so pranked when they try to go to reality and find it all melted. I think this is the best prank we've ever pulled, Scott! Prank Master Strike again, yeah! From the look of that portal, this may also end up being the last prank the Prank Masters ever pull. Whatever. You had a good run. You gained plus two fun and plus one boldness. Bye, peeps. All right. No, oh, bye. To the bathroom. To the bathroom. Come here. <coughs> oh my gosh. What a wall. What a wall. What a wall. Afterwards, Damon comes up and punches you effectively in the shoulder. Hey, asshole. Go to hell. Like, literally, my house is in hell, and I'm inviting you over. Don't read, well, read as much as you want we, we've, uh, <laughs> Earlier with your statements, we have. Uh, yep. Only one problem. In order to get there, you kind of got to damn your immortal soul. Have you not so, been paying attention this entire time? <laughs> so how about it? What crimes against God and man will you commit? So <laughs> okay, this sounds so evil, but at the same time with how Christian the world is, it's like, let's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see, I, but... let's see what some of the options are. Oh, I think I'm already dead. Looking into your eyes feels so good. It must be a sin. I'll run over a bunch of nuns with a lawnmower. Oh. So probably this one. You're charming shit. Yeah. I mean, I want to say the first I one, but my charm is shit. I want to say that first one. Or do I you want to say it anyway? Because fuck it. No, let's run over the nuns. Okay. Oh, yeah. The old nuns under a lawnmower prank. Classic. Let me know if you need to borrow my lawnmower. It's got monster truck wheels and a grenade launcher. <laughs> if, you mean by, if you mean lawn, if you're lawnmower, you mean your dick, then yes. <laughs> oh my gosh! Shh, they don't have to know. Ah! These days, you can never be too careful when you're mowing down nut. <laughs> <laughs> what is this episode? Oh my god! You know they're starting to carry nunchucks. What is the world coming to? With the help of Damien's nun mower, you're able to chip a whole convent of nuns, even if they are all black belts <laughs> in nun jitsu. You gain plus two money and plus one fun, plus two fun and plus one money from the collection plate. Let's do this. Awful. Oh dear. Ooh. Okay, where you go, Chad? Uh, sorry. Um. Want to go to class? <laughs> Here's the thing. I really don't want to get my smarts up. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. Either. I really don't. So, uh, let's let's go to the library. Let's go get creative. Creativity <laughs> sounds good. Why not? That was my lowest stat once. <laughs> that was once <laughs> upon a time. My lowest stat. Okay, so you have the marbles and the penguin mask. You posted a tweet a while ago begging for a kilo of guacamole. You promised a handsome payment. And today's the day that paid off. Someone with the clearly fade account, Wilkinson Romania 69, <laughs> has DM'd you. <laughs> You've arranged a meeting at the outskirts of school where all shady deals take place. Boy, this is complicated. If only you could buy guacamole at the supermarket or pharmacy. Elders usually tell stories of how it was done wit that way <laughs> centuries ago. Good old times. While daydreaming of days of when guac was easier to get, you bump into at Wilkinson Romanian 69. It turns out to be none other than Liam! Of course it is. Hey. Heard you needed some bespoke sex supplies. What, I've lived for many centuries. Of course I know what a reverse Romanian Wilkinson is. Not to mention where to find some good guac. <laughs> I'm all for the people ready to explore the limits of their sexualities and the potential uses of avocado. But this is going to cost you, my fellow. Okay. Use your sweet negotiation skills and toss all the money you can. Find in your pocket at him. Blackmail him. You'll take the guac in exchange for never telling anyone he's a kinky vampire who <laughs> carries guac around. Okay, so if my charm's higher, I gotta blackmail him. Blackmail him. Alright, blackie mailing? Blackie mailing? Blackie mailing. Ah, the eternal struggle of the artisanal sex merchant. Our natural clients are, by their very nature, also the most devious and depraved. 
Go on. Take the unclean spoils of your cruel black man. <laughs> he totally has the hearts for you right now. <laughs> I will yield in order to protect my spotless reputation. Oh, alas. <laughs> you get the feeling he's enjoying this. Oh, absolutely. Maybe he's getting a blackmailed in his fetish. Yep, that's his Who better. cares? The important thing is you have a take with all those plus two boldness and one charm. You're ready. We did it. We did it. We got that Ooh, ending. We got that final ending. ending. Oh, Holy crap. Has. Oh, well. I you, Scott for shit. I was going to say, why don't you go by yourself? Oh, wait, yeah, I'll just go by myself. I never go by myself. Fuck it. None of them. Fuck you guys. I think that's what you got to do. It doesn't say, actually. Okay. Okay. Well, I hope you got it. <coughs> All right, Damien. Hey, noob. Hey, dude. And then ask oh. Polly. All right. Oh, no. oh, someone's going to tear reality apart. See you on the battlefield, loser. Oh, my sweet player. What did you expect we'd be getting out of this? I mean, the world is like being engulfed by flames and all. Oh, I hope I didn't ruin the Wilkinson. Oh, my gosh. Oh no. But hear me out, instead of going to prom, you're going to die. Hooray! Let's do this! Please don't tell me I ruined it. Ooh, that's so cute of you. I mean prom is nice at all. Ooh. Holy oh. crap! I fucked it up for everybody. I didn't know that! I didn't know oh. that either! So the only fucking Polly will be doing these days is like if you know figuratively fucking as in fucking with people, you know? Whatever! Break time! Bye. You don't go to prom. Because prom is totally not happening. Mostly because the horrors are destroying reality for good. Sad face. <laughs> hey, <laughs> sad well, face. I'm happy I didn't get the sun ending. Oh, yeah. That oh, my gosh. That's really good because that you would have cried and punched me. Holy yeah. crap. You ask no one to prom. Maybe because you don't need anyone to enjoy a night. Such a night. Or maybe because the skies have opened up to countless horrors ready to take your world down. And that's totally killed your mood. Bummer. Prom night arrived, but for you it was more like the welcoming night for recruiting your new Lord Zagord into your realm. And so you, Polly, and Scott gathered together to say hi to the ultimate prank master. Yes. Zagord is here! All praise to the Dark Lord! Yes! Sorry, Polly. I never would have expected this. The sky is bleeding, and reality is being riddled by horrors. What an entrance! Yup! You can tell by all that Zagord is to shit when it comes to pranks! Sigurd is both thankful to you for granting its freedom and flattered for being called the shit. It decides to spare the prank masters from eternal doom as its way of saying the prank masters are also the shit. <laughs> Dope! This means pranks for life! Wait, why that smile, senpai? Oh, how awkward. You're not technically a prank master yet. You're just an intern. Zoinks. Being spared from eternal doom is like a perk only reserved for full-time prank masters. With a Z. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, this is a new level of how shitty it is to be an intern. But they were right all this time. They paid you an experience. It's an experiencing never-ending despair and suffering by the end of days. But hey, what a prank it was. We all fucking got just fucked over. Yeah. Well, I bet Luke's happy. absurd weeks of our lives till that part where you summoned a dark deity that brought destruction upon our realm yep, yep that, that part was not the best but life continued as it always does and many things occurred to your classmates damien died horribly because of zagord miranda oh. miranda also died in a horrible way because of zagord and liam oh liam you never guess what happened to him unless you guess he died horribly because of zagord because yes that's absolutely what happened to him for those three weeks the monster prom seemed larger than life and then it was gone just like that Actually, the whole of reality was pretty much gone, just like that. But sure, prom was technically part of reality. The battle for monster prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in that ward called youth. Mostly battles against the Gord, Lord of the Dark Realms, and those who were battles that were basically lost as we were inevitably led to our demise. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were... No, we were basically dead for good. Whoopsies. Wops.
Yo, once got how? And I'm super high. <laughs> We're the best, I'ma tell you why. We're better than pizza. And ecstasy. We're the prank masters. With a Z. What makes us great? I'll tell you this what. So cool. No other prank duo has such good butts. Yeah, we like our butts, and we can't deny. We've, We've pranked, pranked every monster, monster at Spooky High. high. We've pranked the students. We've pranked the teachers. We've pranked vampires and mythical creatures. One time we did a prank on an ocelot. That prank was awesome, bro. Thanks a lot. So let me give you some free advice. We you? pranked you once, we're, we're gonna, gonna prank you twice. twice. Cause we've been spending all our lives living in a prankster's paradise. Prank masters, prank masters, doing pranks and causing disasters. Prank masters, prank masters, sacrificing to our dog master. We'll take a dang pranks all the way to the prank bank, but we needed something new to fill well, up what are you writing? Bank. So we found this book and it really charmed My us. My God! skin so you know it's harmless. We opened it up and the word started bleeding way Ooh. more exciting than regular reading to harness its power it asked for our souls we what pledged them shit. just for one oh, reason the that was on their twitter by the dread sigurd if it wrote this book it must be a <laughs> <laughs> so many tears with the same intention we're breaking the crap out of this <laughs> so if you're wondering who to thank we've got two words per and we've doomed this plane for eternity because we're the prank masters with a z we're all our friends. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> you know what? We're it's worth it. Oh We're yeah. worth it. Two, 20, did that, 21 <laughs> new images in the gallery. Yep. Oh my god. Let's gosh. take a look, see. So, if anyone's out there screaming, know about the Wilkinson ending. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know it would be like this fuck you, prank masters. You did, if, you know what? Here's the thing, though. You did pull the ultimate prank. Because all of that was all about, like, screwing people over. And I yeah. fucked you guys over so hard. So it makes sense. Holy cow. Well, I guess Luke has a chance of getting the Romanian Wilkinson. <laughs> yeah. Who are you? I don't know. I want to date you. I do too. And he's, like, about to die. So he... Writes down his last message. <laughs> this is the darkest timeline. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just have to enjoy that for a minute. I love how he still has his oh, hair. No. <laughs> oh my gosh! Dude, we got a rap at the end. Holy what was crap! That? Excuse me. Oh, those are the zombie. Right, yeah. Cons yeah. Oh, Brian. Yeah, that's his name. Oh, that's I can't see anything. I think it's because I, I think we turned it up too bright, but we'll fix it later. <laughs> Fan art. Okay. Holy cow. What an ending. Oh, yeah. That's an intense update. Yes. Now we just have to hope that nothing happens to our recording. Because <laughs> that would be so sad if we lost all that. All those pump. Oh, my gosh. This was a great update, though. Mm -hmm. Perfect update. I want to play again, though. It was really my good. My voice is dead, but I almost want to go again. Oh. At the same time, I hope. I mean, it depends. But for now, I guess that's the end of this episode. Mm. We will see you guys next time. Next Bye. time. I hope you all don't hate us. <laughs> we didn't know. We didn't know. But that was really cool. That was really, <laughs> that cool. Was really yeah. cool. Yeah.